Hey guys and welcome back to Stellaris and the Stajosi Mandate. Let's uh let's get going. We are currently trying to build up a bit of a fleet. System survey complete. Special project complete. Ooh. Vasilion Urom 3 lights up a science officer Kirsten O'Wagner's plan finally comes into fruition. The robots activate and immediately move with purpose. The crew of the SS Wolfhound stare in shock. Unwarrantly so. As the machines move out across the world, starting to cleanse the toxicity from it, one could assume that the previous inhabitants were too wrapped up in conflict to save themselves. So, um, I just realised that I said, <laughs> I said at the end of the first episode I was going to get the, the automated name thing done. And then at the end of the second episode, it says I was going to get the automated name thing done. And then at the in the third episode, I completely forgot. And now we're in the fourth episode. I've remembered, but I've still not done it. Um, well, I'll sort it. I'll sort it. I'll sort it. I'm actually strapped for time today, um, which is why I haven't done it yet. And I'm like block recording these, as you can probably tell by the fact I haven't changed my fucking clothes in three days, technically. But. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, we'll uh, we'll definitely be getting that sorted um, when I get back. I'm away this weekend, which is why I'm bulk recording, but we'll definitely get back to that. <clears throat> uh, anyway, this will be going out on the Monday, so saying this weekend, technically I mean last weekend, but it's semantics, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, amazing! So the this gives us access to the improved Energy Initiative Empire Edict. The planet class of Urom changes to Continental, and it adds the Fallen Robot Society modifier to Urom 3rd, which gives it plus 3, and plus 1 robotic assembly plant, plus 2 creators, and plus 3 city runes. Okay. Or does it remove those blockers? Not sure. Amazing. Fantastic. Can we go and check this out, actually? Where... Ah, it was here. Oh, I actually removed the other one. Okay. <clears throat> ah, and there's the... Yeah, there's the four. Alright. Okay. <clears throat> Who are you? God knows, we are frightening. Right, the SS Wolfhound. Can you survey the rest of the system? And you have finished surveying this system. So I'll get you to come down here and survey that system. Alrighty tighty. Uh, our construction ship's doing what it's been told to do. Uh, this is actually the last thing to construct in this, uh, in our area. Which is here. Okay, so apparently that's a hostile fleet. Crystalline entities. So how can I? I would like to. I would like to get this place surveyed. But I've got no idea how to do it with that thing that we got. Wow, these guys are strong crystalline entities. It's two seventy each. They're going to be a bit of a bitch to attack. Jesus. Okay, I'll wait until you piss off, and I'll get you to come and survey this system then. That's clearly just blocked us off there. How are these guys anyway? They've got superior fleet power and superior technology, and they don't like us. These guys really don't like us. Like, really don't fucking like us because they're fanatical purifiers. Um, well, I'm going to declare you my fucking rival anyway because they don't like me anyway. I'm going to declare you my rival as well, because I th you've already declared me as a rival. Which is why I really want to focus on getting... Uh, getting some more Corvettes built. Grab another two. Oh, snap. They've just expanded. I think they've just expanded into Piscus. But if we can expand here, we should be able to take this area. So basically what happens is when you build one of these expansion things, it drops your influence by one per month. And it costs a lot of influence to make them. So it drops your influence income 
and uh, costs a lot of influence to make them to begin with. I think it's, what is it, 180 to make them. Research complete. That's fine, don't care about the rivalry. Nice, we've got the composite armor done now. We can... I kind of fancy that, but I think we should get the improved spaceport. That way we can get corvette assembly yards and build corvettes faster. And it gets us a level closer to getting the next level of ship. Uh, right, so that's what we want to do. Can I also come in here and get the shipping make ship face? Get the nano composite armor. Which doesn't change the power or anything like that. So you can just stack that on. And that just increases the armor just to begin with. We'll save that design. Yes. Uh, grab our... Actually... Let's cancel that one and build that with the new class. We'll wait the eight days until this is built. Okay, and then we'll send the other shipping make ship face, the SS Ocean, to get itself upgraded. There you go. Construction complete. Okay, that was the construction on the surface of Stegopia. Which was this bit here. It's not being worked right now because the pop's still not uh, arrived. Shall we say. I want to clear out that blocker as well so we can grab some more food. There we go. Our construction ship is here. Almost done. Our science ship has finished surveying this system. Found a continental world. That was the one that we'd already. Uh, that was the one that we got the the mission for. Actually, I'm going to send you here to research Wicklar. I don't like that our space is just like a hole as opposed to a color or anything. That's really annoying. Uh, isn't like this for any of my other playthroughs, like any of my stream playthroughs. So it must just be the color that we've went with with our flag. Because our flag is like black and white or something, I think this might be black, possibly, I don't know. Right, so we want to come down here. Nice one. Construction complete, ships have been upgraded, scientists leveled up, the Uron system has been surveyed. Um, let's just see if there's any more scientists around to be recruited. New worlds, 10% biology. Ancient civilization anomalies. Anomaly research speed up and anomaly fail risk down. That might actually be pretty good. How am I science ship people? You've got expertise in rocketry and you live for ages. You oh you've got the exact same thing anyway, so I don't want to I don't want to swap them. But you're fine. Yeah, you're currently doing an industry thing. And you're currently doing... <laughs> so, you're doing a physics thing and you're doing an engineering thing. <laughs> nice. The 4% is just their levels because they're level 2s. That's the only reason that they've got 4% on that. As opposed to anything else. Uh, okay, so they've rivaled, they've rivaled each other now. That's, oh, that wasn't that construction, it was this construction, got you. That was just the, the blocker clearing. Right, let's get another two shipping make ship faces. Well, I said before, we need to, we just need to get up and running with all of this stuff. Hey, how's it going? Greetings from the galactic o Obadian, M uh, Obadian Mandate. We're a democratic nation committed to upholding the individual freedoms of our citizens, regardless of their species. Our elected leader, President Govis, hopes for a long and fruitful relationship with your people. Our citizens send all send their regards. Right, let's see how they actually feel about us then, shall we? Not too bad, actually. They, there's just some border friction, there's new contact. 
But other than that, it's alright. Can we establish an embassy? There we go. And offer trade deals, but it's not really worth, to be fair. We could guarantee their independence, which would make them like us a bit more. I don't know. Diplomacy is just a bit meh so far. Research complete. I can't believe that we were scouting throughout their entire area and that's has just found them. They're tiny as well. Useless. We did get research though. Uh, oh, nice, that's the extra power plants. So we could grab the physics plant, uh, the physics lab, or we could get deflectors. Ooh. Administrative e AI just gives us a plus 5% research speed, which is going to be great to get early on. So let's go with that one. Uh, do we have any situation logs? Oh yeah, we've still got uh, the Zeta aliens to investigate. I bet those Zeta aliens that we've got to investigate are these guys <laughs> that I completely ignored. We are really hemmed in. The only way we can go is like through this way. As far as I remember, these guys were pretty strong, these crystalline entities. So we're going to need to bash. Like, we're going to need to get bashy real quick. Which is frightening. Um, yeah, I mean, we're going to need to start making sure that we're building up our, our fleet. So that'll get us up to 9. We still need to get the, the next 4 as well. I mean, that's all we've really got to do right now. Right, that pop will be done in 1.4 months. At least we're getting on with our research, so I can't really complain about that. Because that's what's going to set us apart. Um, intelligent research decisions. Getting this increased uh, border range is going to be good. Survey data will help a lot as well. This is going to get in the spaceport level 2 is going to help. Level 3 is going to be much better. This is good for long term. Right, that's that done. Um, I could really do building a frontier outpost out here as well. Unfortunately, that's going to put us into negative when it comes to uh, energy. But I'm not too worried about that just yet. Because of the fact that we should be able to... Upgrade our power plant, yeah, as soon as we get, as soon as we get enough. Ah, I was just about to cancel one of these. Right, that's that system surveyed. Well, let's just head down here and we'll just keep going with the system surveys. Not much I can do. Um, we're very close to just getting completely hemmed in and needing to bash some faces. And sadly, it seems like, sadly, it seems like the people who actually like us are going to be the, the ones that were bashing first. Right, so you're going to need to do that, and you're building one there, which will give us access to all of this stuff. System survey complete. It's going to drop, like I said, it's going to drop our influence by another one per month, but it needs doing. Okay, I'm waiting until we can upgrade this, which is going to be 90 as far as I can remember. Yeah. The entities encountered by our fleet some time ago are spaceborne forms of life, quickly nicknamed Space Amoeba, following an analyst's gross misreading of an in initial sensor output. The creature is in fact larger than the average Stegosian Corvette. Further study is warranted. We may choose to either remotely monitor the creature and its kin from Stegopia or attempt to swiftly bring down a specimen to study and eventually commercially exploit its remains. Um, I prefer to observe them, thanks. Uh, and we'll, what we'll do is... Ah, okay, so we need to... 90 days is nothing. I actually think that you're better off attacking them, like doing the attack thing to get that quest chain. But I mean, there's not much 
Not much I can really do right now. I really need my army. Upgrade that, that'll give us a plus one, and as soon as we can afford it, we'll upgrade, upgrade this one as well. Give us another plus one. We'll need the, uh, we'll need the 90 minerals in order to do that. It doesn't take too long, 170 days isn't too bad. We've got another month to wait and then we can upgrade this one. It's rough, man. It's rough when you're you're struggling with stuff. Special project complete. Uh, the space amoeba is the name is stuck as the pronunciation of the proper xenotaxonomic ta denominator is too unwieldy for the average stegosi. Are solitary animals when left to their own devices. All but the youngest specimens are accompanied by a quasi-independent flagella. Organisms spawned by the amoeba and programmed through liquid RNA lace secretions to do the bidding of the host. These flagella are capable of manipulating and even attacking objects in an impressive yet restricted range around the host, periodically returning to lodge inside the host's amoeba body for reprogramming. There are potential military applications for the of the graceful patterns of circulation apparent in the flagella's movement. Fascinating indeed. Nice, so that means that we get a flat evasion plus five. Uh, yeah, I'll just get you to research that straight up. And we'll upgrade that power plant as well. Sorted, so that's just got all our power plants upgraded from that new research that we got. Um, once those two are built, we should be back up to not losing energy credits. And then once this is built, we'll be able to... Um, oh, it's two threes. I thought it was uh, three twos. That's really nice. So once this is built, we'll be able to start building some energy research stations. The sad thing is, they can push this way. They can push that way. I don't know how they're encompassed at all, but I'm like right in the middle of everything, which is horrible. Uh, oh no! Critical reactor failure and the science officer perished. As well as the ship. That is really sad. That is really sad. Aw. Sad face. Oh well, not, not much we can do about it. There's no point in us getting another science officer just yet because I would need to like bounce them through all of the systems and things and I'm not really in a rush to get anything else scanned. I'm more interested in pushing around and doing uh, doing some construction and getting myself some more uh, fleets built up. But we're at 232 just now. And I'm probably going to need to save up my minerals to get some uh, power plants made. Yay, my governor's leveled up, which means she increases happiness, removes construction time and clear blocker time, but that's it. Until she starts to get some more um, perks, which she does get by leveling up, she can get more perks. But until then, she's uh, pretty useless. Although most of the time, my uh, the perks that my governors get are like substance abuse. I don't know why. I don't know why they always get substance abuse. It just seems to be the way that I treat my governors. <laughs> they all start abusing substances. Construction complete. I mean, the most obvious people to go and hit are these guys. They currently kind of like us. Plus five. They're pretty small. But yeah, they're like the, the most obvious guys to hit first. It's kind of frightening. Alright, so let's get this done. I'll research these guys. Um, I reckon we can build another Corvette. And we'll have enough research by the time that this is built. How long has it got left? No, I want to hover over the actual construction, please. That just says 81%. It doesn't actually tell me. Nice. I wish that would tell me, like, how many months left instead of just percentage. That would be lovely. Because then I could figure out exactly how many months I need to wait on minerals before it can build the next thing. Although, like I says, we're, uh, we're pretty sorted for that. 
So as soon as you've built, you've built this. When you come here and oh my god, I need to wait until it's built. It doesn't take into effect that if I shift click this, yeah, I can't even shift click it. There we go. So now I need to click it. But unfortunately, that's going to have to do is for this episode. So as always, I've been CG. You've been awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.